Hello, and welcome to my first video on getting a Mac 512K onto a modern network. In this case, we have a Mac 512KE here, and I'm going to boot up with System 4.1 and Finder 5.5. The software we're going to be using here is called EasyShare. It is an AppleShare compliant server software. Uh, unlike Apple's official AppleShare software, this will actually work on a Mac 512K as well as let us share from a floppy disk. First thing we'll do is confirm that we do in fact only have 512K. and. As you can see, that's all we have. So, the first thing we will do is fire up the EasyShare software. We'll turn on the share. And then we'll go over to my bridge computer. Uh, this is a PowerBook G3 Wall Street. Um, it is connected to the Mac 512K with a local talk cable, uh, DB9 on this end, Mini DIN 8 on this end. I chose the uh, Wall Street model because it is the last Mac of any kind that ever shipped with a local talk port and support for the Apple SuperDrive floppy disk. Uh, that drive is critical if you want to work with double density Mac disks. So we're going to go over here to the chooser and mount the 512K. As you can see, no special software needed on this end. Easy Share is completely Apple Share compliant. Select the 512K and mount it. And it will pop up right there on the desktop. And then we're going to bridge it forward with FTP and we're going to use a program called Rumpus uh, from Maxim Software. They still make this today for Mac OS X. It is a very powerful FTP server. Uh, we're going to be using version 3.5 here which is the last flavor for the classic Mac OS. I'm going to go ahead and launch this and I've already got it pre-configured to share out the Mac 512K share. Um, Rumpus is fairly unique here. Most networking software on the Mac will not let you share a network share. They have to be logical disks, but in this case, this software will actually let us share the mounted Apple Share disk here as well. So, let's go over to the Mac, running iMac running Snow Leopard. Of course, you can connect to this now with any FTP client. Uh, even the Finder can mount FTP shares, but it's read-only. So we're going to use Panic Software's new Transmit 4, in this case 4.11, um, which has a wonderful ability to mount FTP shares right in the Finder with read-write access. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, the Mac 512K will appear right on the desktop. So let's go and give it some software. We're going to choose uh, the Dalix game. I've got these bind hexed because when we go through FTP, we'll use, we will lose the resource fork. Let's go ahead and copy it down. As you can see, it's starting to copy here. And if we go over to the Mac, you'll see it show up there and uh, available space going down. And that's it. So we'll open it up with Binehex 
And there it is. Totally playable and sent down to us right from an iMac running Snow Leopard. And I'm dead. So, this is my first video. Uh, I'm going to make some more on connecting the 512K uh, to iPads and iPhones, among other things. So I hope you check out my other videos. Thank you. Bye.